Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you what you can do with the data that uh, Bpop2 uh, saves every time you do a flight, as you can see here at the bottom of the screen. In the uh, Free Flight uh, Pro app, after each flight, you have here a log of your flight. So you have the location of the flight, the flight duration, the, dr the drone you were flying, battery usage, if you had a crash or no, and the sky controller you were uh, using. If you tap on the GPS tab, you get a uh, trace of your flight. Here the color coding simply means that red, the drone was uh, higher. And S means the start position. And E that we don't see, it's just behind S. E is the uh, ending position of the flight. If you tap on the graphics uh, tab, here you have your flight details. So in blue, the altitude, the speed in green, in meters per second, and the battery uh, usage. So here this data is very important. This is what we're going to export to use uh, on the video as an overlay. So if you look at the shape, the carefully the shape of the green and the blue curves, and now look at this here. Look at the bottom of the screen. So on the left side, we have the curve of the speed, and on the right side, we have the curve of the altitude. And we have here a few of our um, some more data. We have a, a gauge on the left side that gives the speed in kilometers per hour. You can have also miles per hour. Here in the center we have the, the bearing and on the right side we have the altitude in meters. Again here this can be uh, in feet. And if you look at the bottom of the screen we have the Wi-Fi strength uh, signal on the left side. We have the drone uh, distance from the point of departure and we have the total uh, drone flight uh, distance. Then we have the um, power remaining, number of satellites uh, viewed by the drone, the pitch and the roll in degrees. I'm not able at the moment to get that working, but I'm working on that. So uh, here I was um, leaving today an area and I didn't know there was a dam uh, on that river. And when I got to the dam, I saw here that there is something interesting at the end. So I'm going to fly over there and show that to you. At the same time, we can look at the data at the bottom of the screen. As you can see here, I'm picking up speed. I'm going now to about 14 kilometers per hour. I am at an altitude of 30 meters. But if you look at the graph, and this is interesting, you will see here that at some point, I'm going to go higher than the 30 meters. Now we start to see the interesting part of the flight on the left hand side. As we get closer, we will see what this is. Now I started here the, uh, to go higher. As you can see here, the dot, there's a little white dot that shows the location of the, um, of the drone at that, I mean, the flight uh, position. Uh, if I can see that. And again, we have the speed graph on the left side. So now what we saw was locks. So this is a series here of uh, three uh, stages uh, locks for, of course, for the boats to go down and up the river. So I'm now at uh, 40 meters high or about uh, 130 feet. Current speed is uh, 25 kilometers per hour. In the video mode, the uh, BPUB does about uh, 30 kilometers per hour. I think in sport mode, it does uh, 50. I need to double check that, but I haven't flown in sport mode yet because I do video, so I don't want to go uh, too fast. Now I'm close to uh, 30 kilometers per hour, and I'm doing a full speed uh, banking uh, turn. So I thought I would uh, try that. As you can see the video is uh, quite smooth, would be better at 60 frames per second, but the BPOP is limited to uh, 30 uh, frames per second. Now here I was going to go back uh, to my point of departure, which is far on the right, but then I saw this boat, kind of at the last second on the left, so I decided to go back there. I'm not going to get too close because I respect the privacy of people, so I don't fly just above like houses or like in this case a boat. So I'm just going to get a bit lower. I'm going down now to uh, 30 meters 
and just getting a bit closer, I will look at, uh, at this boat and the river, and then I'm going back to uh, my point of departure. The river is quite wide as you can see here at this uh, location. So we have a view of the dam here from the, uh, from the back or from the, up the river. I was also hoping for cars to go through, it would have been nice, but there was no traffic the uh, morning I was uh, flying. So uh, this is all I wanted to show you guys on this flight is uh, the beauty of having the uh, telemetry overlay on the uh, EPOP video. If you have any questions, put them down below. I'll be happy to get back to you. Have a great day. Goodbye, guys.